you deserve more. And not just because I'm saying it to you. You feel it. There is an intuition. You work really hard to make certain things work when they are not meant to work anymore. Sometimes people and things are only meant to be in our life for a short period of time. And we can look back at the time that we spend together in a positive manner. Because without that time, we would not be who we are today. Every change happening in your life is happening for you. And in the difficult times, we might be tempted to ruminate and feel sad and feel distressed. But I urge you to not judge yourself for these feelings, as they are also a good indicator that you are going in the right direction. When everything is falling apart, something better must be coming. And for that better thing to come along in our life, we must release and grieve the old. And so when nothing is working, when you feel lost, when you have these emotions, Take a deep breath in and embrace that phase of your life. Soon, it will only be a distant memory. And you don't have to rely on the future and keep looking away, further away, wondering when is it going to happen for me? I've been feeling this way for so long. When is it finally going to turn around? When you are capable of sitting in the situation with grace and with trust that something better is coming and you'll release your expectations, then it will come to you. And right now you're at that stage in between something great and something that you are used to. The bridge in between those two parts of your life is going to be built over the grief and the emotions and the sensation of being lost. And so every time you try to contract, you try to repress those natural feelings, you are slowing down the construction of that bridge between where you were and where you are going. It is not your job to know exactly where you are going. Because if you could imagine it, for what it is, or for what it's going to be, then you would have full capacity right now to get to that point. If you are capable of really knowing 100% what is your life going to be like, then you can already create steps to get there. But a lot of the time we don't know. We feel lost, we feel sad, and then we try to repress what is. Because it is not conductive to a happy present. But the present is shaping you for the challenges of the future. Because even if you get exactly the life that you dreamed of, there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be hardships. There's always going to be doubts. People trying to take you down. People trying to manipulate you. 
people trying to use you. But you will move differently in the storm that is life. And you'll be so solid because you know that you can overcome these troubles. You've done it once, you can do it again. You build something once, you can do it again. Do not forget how powerful you are. And if you haven't tapped into that power yet, because you picture power as a certain thing, a certain way to be, and you separate it from who you truly are, then you'll spend your life chasing after the idea of being powerful instead of standing tall in whatever life has to offer. Because life is like a zebra and you're crossing every stripe. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. But you must understand that you are protected in these times. And if you are able to walk through chaos with your head high, if you are able to trust in yourself in times of changes, which are always going to be stressful, if you're not feeling anxious, if you're not feeling sad, if you're not doubting yourself in a moment of change, then are you really changing? Is the change big enough for you? Can you handle more? Your emotions are always a good indicator, but they're not good leaders in your life. They bring your attention to how you feel and maybe what you need to soothe and comfort yourself. But it is not because you are feeling anxious, afraid, or scared that you shouldn't follow through with that decision. Sometimes it's getting a new job, ending a relationship, moving abroad, changing your lifestyle and your routine, taking a chance, betting on yourself, seeing the possibilities. All of these situations will induce a feeling of anxiety, anticipation, excitement, sadness, distress. But these emotions are simply telling you that you are about to level up. You are about to enter unknown territory. And what a time is it for you to discover a new side of yourself. It is always going to be uncomfortable to try something new, try something again, try something differently. But your resilience and your trust will bring you places that will make up for all of these feelings that felt like the world when they were inside of your heart. The rewards that you'll reap will make up for all of it. Your power is being yourself. Your power is showing up as yourself. Is being honest with yourself. Is following your heart your dreams, your desires. Power can be quiet. Power can be loud. Power can be surrounded. Power can be isolated. Power can be controlled. Power can be free. 
There is not one way to tap into your power. And it is for you to trust that even in times where you don't feel powerful, your power is your resilience. Your power is continuing to bet on yourself. And when you forget how powerful you are, I urge you to look back at everything you have accomplished, everything you've survived, everything you've done that you thought you couldn't do before. Look back, see how much you've grown, and let life take you where you are supposed to be. Let go of the desire to hold what used to serve you. It is taking space in your hands, and you only have so much space. There are so many great things coming, but you must trust that they are coming and allow life to take you where you are supposed to be.